Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I thought about diving into an ambitious topic that a lot of you may have already wondered about. How to become a millionaire as a software engineer. Now, this might sound like a far-fetched dream to some, but trust me, with the right strategies and mindset, it's more achievable than you think. Let's explore some paths to financial success in the software engineering world that have been well documented by colleagues of mine as working. First up, securing a high paying job. This is probably the most straightforward way to develop a steady and large cash flow monthly. Top companies like Google, Amazon and Facebook offer very good salaries and comprehensive benefits. But how do you land such a job? It all starts with mastering the fundamentals and staying current with industry trends. Keep learning, take courses, learn algorithms and data structures, practice lead code and mock technical interviews with a timer. Once you've landed a well-paying job, the key is to save and invest wisely. Use your high income to build a diversified investment portfolio. Stocks, bonds, real estate, educate yourself on these and start investing early. Compound interest is your best trend here, and it's amazing how your wealth can grow over time if you are consistent and disciplined. Next, let's talk about freelancing for multiple clients. This path gives you the flexibility to set your own rates and work on projects that you are passionate about. Platforms like Upwork, Freelancer and TopTel are great places to start. As you build a reputation, you can command higher rates and work with high profile clients. The advantage here is that your earning potential is only limited by the hours you are willing to work. Plus, you can take on diverse projects that keep your skills sharp and your portfolio impressive. Another powerful route is entrepreneurship. This one's my personal favorite because it combines creativity with business. Developing an app, either by yourself or with a team, can be incredibly rewarding. Think about solving a problem or fulfilling a need in the market. Start small, validate your idea and only then scale up in order to avoid useless effort on an idea that will not work anyway. Monetization can come here in various forms, in-app purchases, subscription plans, advertising or even selling your app to a larger company. The journey of entrepreneurship is challenging but immensely fulfilling. The potential for exponential growth is huge and many software engineers have turned their side projects into million dollar enterprises. You can check here the story of Mark Liu that developed Shipfast and now is making around $100,000 per month. Now, I want to touch on a crucial aspect of all these paths, networking. Whether you are looking for a high paying job, freelancing gigs or partnerships for your entrepreneurial ventures, networking can open doors you didn't even know existed. Attend industry conferences, maybe join professional groups and connect with peers on LinkedIn. Building a strong professional network can lead to opportunities that significantly boost your career and income. Another key trait you need to embody is continuous learning and adaptability. The tech industry evolves rapidly and what's in demand today might be obsolete tomorrow. Stay curious and keep upgrading your skills. This will not only make you indispensable in your current role but also open up new avenues for income generation. Remember, the more versatile and knowledgeable you are, the more valuable you become. Finally, mindset matters. Becoming a millionaire requires a combination of strategic planning and the right mindset. Believe in your potential, stay motivated and don't be afraid of taking calculated risks. Embrace failure as learning opportunities and keep pushing forward. The most important thing is to believe that you can do it and then showing up to do the work that is needed. Now, whether you choose to climb the corporate ladder, freelance or go on the entrepreneurial ventures route, the key lies in continuous learning, smart investing and leveraging your skills to their fullest potential. If you have any thoughts or experience on this topic, share your stories in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, cheers and happy coding!